fire! Welcome! Got a long-awaited and long-sought-after Funko Pop to unbox for you today. And I'm sure you recognise that logo there. This is, of course, from the Australian pop seller. Well, they sell all sorts, but Funko Pops, I think, is a speciality. Pop culture. Now, this is something that I and quite a lot of people, a few friends of mine within the Funko collecting community here in the UK, all ordered. I couldn't remember the price, what I pre-ordered this for. This was back in... It was like January or February, I think. But I can see on the invoice that's on the box um, is that it cost me $18.17. That's obviously Australian dollars, and that won't include postage. So um, this is probably going to be including postage, something like 16 or £17 from Australia to the UK. But it's one that I'm very excited about. And like I said, I know a lot of my friends have ordered this one as well. I haven't seen any of them unbox it yet, but I know a few other people in this country have started to receive it. So let's get this open right now. And for that, you know that I need my trusty yellow knife. Too many broken hearts in this world. There's too many dreams can be broken into. Too many broken hearts in this world. Now I won't give up the fight for you. Ha <laughs> Woo! Alright, and now let us have a... Sir... all Woo! So this is the first thing that I've received from Pop Culture for quite a while. I do have another pre-order from there. But I've no idea when that particular pop's due out. Comes in a fairly small box. I'm used to pop culture giving you a slightly bigger box. But it uh, feels a fairly sturdy one. Which is, I think, just as well as there is no protective packaging. However, I'm really happy to get this pop. And if it's in good condition, because it's one I want to keep in box, then I'll be delighted. Oh yeah, yeah. That's lovely. What I've got is... The special edition pop culture exclusive Bushfire Heroes Funko Pop. Ah, oh, wow. So, pop culture, of course, they started advertising this earlier this year. Australia suffered some tragic bushfires and um, so much death and destruction to animals and their habitat. And what pop culture decided to do was to collaborate with Funko, obviously, and bring out their own exclusive Funko Pop of one of the bush firefighters here with a little koala bear. And apparently all proceeds that pop culture have received in relation to this particular Funko figure have all gone to Australia's RSPCA charity. So that is wonderful. That is a cause that... I think all of us would be happy to support and for us as collectors to donate in this way and then receive a really cool special edition Funko Pop in return. You know, that's a marvellous idea really. I hope to see more of these kind of charity Funko Pop releases in the future. Obviously stems from a tragic situation on the other side of the world, but even so, some good can come out of it for the charity and for us collectors and for the country of Australia itself, then that is marvellous. Uh, this sticker is slightly different to the pop culture sticker that they often replace other stickers with, like the Funko Store sticker. When they sell Funko Store exclusive pops, they often swap it out for their own sticker, but I think this one is slightly different. It seems to be more shiny to me, and it does say, as well as pop culture, it says bushfire appeal on the bottom. The box looks to be in brilliant condition. There's a bit of spiel on the back. It says, This special edition Funko Pop salutes the courageous heroes who risk their lives in the effort to combat Australia's deadly bushfires. The koala companion pays tribute to the devastating reduction of Australia's animal population as a result of these fires. Funko sends a message of love and support to our friends, family and fans in Australia. So, really nice collaboration. As I said, this is something that I want to keep in box. I want to get it in an ATV pop protector. But I will get him out temporarily and show you a close look. 
There was a lot of pre-ordering going on for this figure, and rightly so. It was for charity, it's limited edition, and I think after a couple of months or so, Pop Culture had basically sold out their pre-order allocation. Whether there'll be a re-release of it, I'm not sure. It would be nice if there was, because obviously if proceeds are going to charity, then the more that they can sell, the better. But um, here is the pop itself. Really nice. The firefighter here, the bush firefighter, is articulated to a certain degree. He's got a white helmet on with like a clear... What do you call it? An eye guard that's sort of lifted above. Some really good detail because you can see sort of like scorch marks and soot and ash marks on his face. He's also got like a yellow hood that's part of his firefighter uniform. There we see the firefighter uniform. I think it's got a little badge. It's a blue badge. I don't think there's anything on it. It's really small so it's difficult to tell. And we see some more detail on the back like this red bit at the top. And all the stripes going down. His trousers, obviously part of the uniform, and they match. Brown shoes. And there, of course, we have a little koala bear there, just being rescued. Really sweet little finishing touch there. Oh, and this guy's right hand is on the koala's head. It's really nice. And the koala's holding out to his left hand. Yeah, that is lovely, that. Not the sort of thing that I would collect as a rule, but it's one of a kind. It's for a really good cause. It wasn't expensive, it was about the same price as any other standard pop from pop culture. I think this is going to become a favourite in a lot of people's collections. It will certainly become a favourite in my collection. As a charity campaign, it's fantastic. And I love the shiny pop culture bushfire sticker there. Nice box art, great condition. That is a fantastic Funko Pop and one that I am delighted and quite proud to add to my collection today. So thank you Pop Culture for sending this out, it had been stuck in customs for a week or two but it came eventually and I'm absolutely made up over that. Thank you to all of my subscribers for subscribing, all my patrons for being on Patreon with me and of course all of you for watching. Don't forget my Ride to 75 giveaway is in full swing, win yourself the Batman with Batmobile Dorbs Ride and the Huntress full convention exclusive pop. Please see all my usual affiliate links and discounts down in my description text box as well as at the top of the description details of my current giveaway. I'm going to go now and put these fellas into a pop protector and display it somewhere very prominently and very proudly and I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next Funko Pop unboxing video. Cheers everyone. See ya!